Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The World of Disability. And I'm your host, Terry D. And we hope you are well out there. So we're going to talk about something uh, that seems to be happening a lot. And yeah, it is coronavirus related. And this is about face masks. And actually, some of the instances that I've come across uh, since face masks have been mandatory here in Wales. uh, Even in the weirdest places I've seen disabled people or people with hidden disabilities just badgered into face masks. I've heard stories of it. Now, okay, everyone has their arguments about like shielding and like if they should be locked up or locked down or stay in and all of this and yeah, I understand how serious that is. But if you are going out and you are exempt from wearing a face mask, and you're wearing a ba- a lanyard saying you have a hidden disability and you're exempt from wearing a face mask. Surely you shouldn't be getting horrible looks from people. You know, it, it's not really uh, right, is it, to be giving someone horrible looks just because they're exempt from wearing face masks because of their disability. At the end of the day, you know, you wouldn't do it. Well, people do do it to... Uh, People in wheelchairs or are blind. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've experienced it. Now, disabled people exempt from face coverings under the government guidelines. So this is across all four nations of the United Kingdom. So the regulations say that, you know, there are certain people who are exempt. People with hidden disabilities, people with uh, physical disabilities, mental disabilities, uh, sorry, mental health issues, uh, people with autism, you know, there is a vast amount of people. Even people who are afraid of covering their mouths because that does happen. Uh, the people are asked, to, and this is normal people are, or people without disabilities are asked to be mindful of those who are exempt from wearing face covers. It seems to me that society in general has now become that If you're not wearing a face cover, I'm going to report you. I've got the right, if you're not wearing a face covering, to actually go out and tell you what you should be wearing. It's come to a point that we have now, in the United Kingdom, are badgering other people on how they look and what they should wear. Yes, I understand that we're in a public emergency. Yes, I understand we're in a pandemic and a health and it's the risk of others. But that does not give you the right to treat disabled people uh, with utter contempt. Uh, That just, to me, is frankly discrimination. You don't know this person. They are wearing an exemption badge. So they're already showing the signs of their disability. Now, if you have a hidden disability, nine times out of ten is you don't publicise your disability because it is a hidden disability. That's your own choice if you wish to tell someone. So these people are wearing badges and showing that they have a disability. Okay. Now, in some circumstances, people say, why don't you wear the visor face masks? Sometimes it is actually like being in a goldfish bowl. I've tried this one. I'll let you into a little secret. I have an exemption for face masks. However, I choose to wear a face mask. I know other people who, with a disability, with my disability, who also choose to wear face masks. Now, one of my friends was, uh, we were together about 
Oh, I wasn't there, so another friend was there, sorry, it was together about two weeks ago. Um, and she was told to put on a face mask. Well, when she's going somewhere she wants, she uses it as social distancing. So she judges if she can't make social distancing, she'll definitely put on a face mask. You know, because it's the last resort for her. Now, one woman told her she should be wearing it all of the time. And the funny thing is, two days later, the same person came into a room without a face mask. So, I just find it, hip hypocrisy just seems to be very rife around the population about face masks. If you can guess what I mean. I just also find that, you know, everyone seems to want to go and uh, tell everyone what they should be wearing around their mouths. How they should be acting and how they should be behaving. It, to me, it seems to be that people are craving uh, that need or that want to be able to control other people's lives. And then we have the fact that during the pandemic, most disabled people and disabled organisations right now are still closed. So we have a whole group of people uh, who are unable to actually get a break. We have carers who are unable to access respite services or able to access, uh, you know, simple, you know, tools to have like an hour off. We have disabled people just sitting at home in front of screens all day. It seems to me that disabled people were left on the back burner in all handling across the UK here and probably across the world. But if we go back to face masks, is it right? No, is it morally right, right for someone to tell you what you should be wearing about your disability, about you? You know, it's not morally right. You would not do this in normal times. So what, but even if you would do it, right, what makes you think that you have the right to do it? No, you do not have the right to do things like this because we all have that nice little thing called freedom of choice. We are not living in some kind of tin pot dictatorship controlled by dear leader Johnson and his cronies, we are living in a democracy, or we are meant to be. Now, you know, to forget uh, that some disabled people uh, are not able to actually use their hands efficiently to put on a face mask, but they still are able to go out and shop and live independently. There are certain things that with dyspraxia, and many of you know that I'm dyspraxic, with dyspraxia that you're unable to do because of fine motor movements. Now, sometimes I also get my face mask the wrong way up and all of that. But I'm going to read you um, something else that a friend of mine actually put. And, uh, yeah, so. <sighs> so a few, and this goes to, to what I'm thinking. Um, well, some people who have anxiety may worry about the suffocation in, uh, this is why people don't wear them. Do you know what I mean? Why people do not wear face masks or may have that exemption? Well, some people who have anxiety may worry about the suffocation or uh, be overly severe, catastrophic, or some people who are who have experienced trauma may not like their mouth or face being obstructed. Some people may find it hard to have things close to or on their skin. They are not used to such as those who 
struggle with sensory overload difficulties. Perhaps it may be a trigger for PTSD or a flashback to a person. The list does go on and, you know, they seem to be silly to those who have not experienced none of these triggers. Yet, there has been recently, like I've said, a more increase of uh, people thinking that they have the right to tell you how to be and that you should be wearing a face mask. It's quite wrong to me. Um, it's not okay for humanity to go down this route. You know, when humanity goes down this kind of route, it's quite worrying in general. Now, to blame people for not wearing face masks properly uh, and blame the hidden disabled students, it's quite rich, isn't it? The current spike in cases, considering students only went back last week, and we're told there's always a three-week lag in reporting cases. So, um, if that's the case, and I like the word cases there, don't I? But if that's the case, students aren't to blame. If that's the case, um, the people who are to blame are the people who were shielding. But someone worked out you can't really blame them, can you? So they're not. And when I say the people are shielding, it, it is mainly older people who are telling disabled people, young people, that they should be wearing a face mask. It is mainly older people who are making judgments when they have their face mask around their mouth, not covering their nose. Do they understand that a face mask is to cover your nose too? Now, it's quite funny that I mentioned you know, a friend of mine who is disabled, who has an exemption. She always wears her face mask properly when she wears it. So do I. So I find it quite laughable that someone found the time to tell her to put on a face mask. And, you know, to me, it's quite funny. Not all disabilities are visible. So you shouldn't be telling people that. You don't know what that person goes through. Until you've walked a mile in their own shoes. You don't know what the person is going through, so don't even try and judge. Moving on to the next one, don't judge a person. Once again, until you've walked a mile in their sh own shoes and experienced what they've experienced in life, experienced their disability, experienced how it affects them on a day-to-day -day life. You can't judge them. You shouldn't judge them. Then we have the pandemic. Well, the pandemic... You have to do your bit. Uh, didn't most of these disabled people do their bit when they were shielded until the 16th of August? They have been told to come back out and nine times out of ten, once again, we only ever hear about the smaller number of cases and then it, the, world, the UK just bunked out of craziness. But nine times out of ten, we... And it sounds like a political rant now, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry. That was well. But nine times out of ten, all we're hearing about is a small number of instances and then the media let roar and let it rip. I've done it at Real Tario on a couple of stories when I'm posting them onto our website. I know, if I know they're going to get like more people coming. Yeah, I understand why people do it, because it gets your ratings up there and more people visit your website and you're able to sell advertisements. However, it doesn't help on things like Facebook with comments and stuff. And the stupidity of some of these people who just comment and... They have no sense. I've started to take in, telling them how I think and what actually is going on. I've actually started to take in uh, parts from articles and stuff and putting it in my reply to them because I just have no time. But I believe that we should tell, you know, try and re-educate them 
that their beliefs are ridiculous. Uh, and there's no basis, is there, that, you know, that all the civil, that, you know, you should be telling disabled people how they should be, how they should act. Do you, haven't we stopped that? What was the Disability Equality Act about? Do you know what I mean? What was all those years of people fighting for equality for us disabled people about? If people now can think that they can tell us uh, what we should be wearing. I'm sorry, but it's ridiculous. If you have a medical exemption or an exemption because of your disability, well, you should tell them. Now, I love the fact, basically, that the governments are not using the word disability, but using the word medical reason. No. Or if you're unwell. My problem here is, and most of you know that I'm a Christian, I have problems with the word healing as well, because I don't actually see my disability as a health problem. I have to live with my disability for the rest of my life, just like I don't see myself broken because I have a disability in faith. So, you know, what is there for me to need medical help. I probably see my doctor about my disability um, about once or twice in a two-year period. Yes, um, as part of my disability, I have to take um, some antidepressants now and again, as and when, and the same with some uh, other tablets. But otherwise... You know, I very rarely, it's only to get a medical review. That's the only time I see my doctor about my disability. And it's not really about my disability because it's about an offshoot of something that comes with a disability. But anyway, secondly, okay, uh, if you can't keep your nose out of someone else's um, arrangements or someone else's life, you know, what is the point? What is the point? You need to worry about yourself, I personally think. Yes, we're all in it together, but to be in it all together, sometimes you need to worry about yourself and what you are doing rather than what other people are doing. So, are you coming into a room not wearing a face mask, knowing that everyone else in the room is wearing a face mask? Are you really the one? who is looking out for everyone else when you are the one who has just done this and put everyone else at risk. Now, disabled people do not wish to be told how to live. How many of us out there have a disability and we get fed up about getting treated like a little child again and told we don't understand stuff or you don't understand this because you're a disability or my personal favourite because I'm dyslexic. When someone doesn't understand what you're saying or because you typed it or you've used voice text and they feel after you've told them that you're dyslexic they continue being the spelling police. That's my personal favourite. I always reply on that one and my replies are always quite funny. I've been told. I always ask them, would they tell a person in a wheelchair to get out of the wheelchair and walk? Would they tell a blind person to open their eyes and see? And we all know the answer is no. But if you ever do get the answer is yes, then I turn around to them, and this is what I would do, is say to them, what kind of person are you? Because if your reply to those questions is yes, your thought process on hidden disabilities is morally wrong. Because it should be a yes there too, in my opinion. Now, I have a friend who's in a wheelchair. I have many friends, actually, who are in wheelchairs. I have a friend. I have some friends who are blind or visually sighted. I have friends with hidden disabilities. I have friends with mental health problems. I also have friends with uh, who are and family who are cancer sufferers or survivors. I know, like many people in society, we know many people with different abilities and needs and this needs to be taken into account when it comes to face masks. 
So my point on this, what has seemed a bit of a rant today about face masks, and if this is anything that you take from this episode, is just don't judge. Judge yourself. Don't judge others by your standards. They may have higher standards than you. They may have lower standards than you. But you shouldn't be judging others on other standards. You need to worry about your own face mask or your own exemption and your own health, people. If someone comes to tell you about wearing a face mask and you have an exemption, stand tall, be brave. Rub that in that exemption note is in their face. Make them feel very stupid for doing it. That's what I would tell you to do. Also, if you have a physical disability and someone feels the audacity to come over to you or the cheek to come to you and put on a face mask, once again, hold up your card. Be brave. And be calm. And say, can you read this to me, please? And when they read it to you, and the same for blind people too, when they read it to you, ask them, did you understand that? But to judge people by your own standards is quite wrong. We need to get away from that during the pandemic. There is so much judgment and this person is doing it this way. I even heard, and we'll be touching on this on the Around the World Today podcast tomorrow, but I've also he- uh, heard uh, so much like people going to report other people to the police. And I'm looking forward to telling you about that because I've actually come up against this myself. And like that moral, do I or don't I? And I let you in that I didn't. Uh, report the people to the police but it's quite astonishing that many people again feel that you know they can't make their judgments for themselves they have to be in other people's business they have to put on the advice uh tell you to put on a face mask now to find out if you're exempt from face masks and my advice we'll be putting this up on our website So you can go to our website, realterio.com, and it'll be in the media section, uh, or you can listen back to this podcast. Thank you for tuning in. And that's all I wanted really to say is about face masks, don't judge. Uh, Everyone is different, but, you know, sometimes those differences are good. And once again, just don't judge anyone by your own standards, because Everyone has different standards. Thank you. Have a good day. If you enjoyed today's show, please head over to iTunes, give us a rating, and leave a review.